Sorry about that, y'all. Um, my videographer got a text message and it made the video stop. Okay, so this is number eight. Vertical stretch by a factor of four. Shift left one unit. Shift down seven units. Reflection across x-axis. So I'm going to do each of these individually and we'll put them all together in one big group. Okay, so the vertical stretch by a factor of four. That's multiplication outside the function. So we start with our function, parent function 1 over x. Uh, we're multiplying by 4 because that's the vertical stretch factor. It's stretch because 4 is greater than 1. So multiplication outside becomes 4 times 1 over x. And then that multiplies. Remember we talked up here about how multiplication outside the function ends up just being in the numerator on top. So 4 over x is how that turns out, okay? Uh, shift left one unit. So we start with 1 over x, and then left shifting left is addition inside the function. Remember, inside the function means with the x, so wherever the x goes, that's where your addition goes. So in this case, x is down here as part of the denominator on the bottom. So that's where our addition is going to go. So one unit is plus one, okay, down here uh, with the x. Shift down seven units. Um, so we have our, that's subtraction outside the function. So we have our function, and then we put our minus seven right outside of the fractional part out here okay and then last but not least reflection across the x-axis so that is a negative outside the function like that oh. and so that goes outside the function right here it can go up with the one as well just like the four went outside on top Either way is fine. So if we put all of these together into one big function, right? We start with 1 over x, but I already know my 1 is going to be a 4, so I'm not going to do that. On top is 4. On the bottom with the x is plus 1. Outside the function is minus 7. And then we also have our negative out front. So that is our transformed g of x function. And you can put this in the Google Doc as, let's say, negative 4 divided by x plus 1 minus 7. All right. That's how it can go in the Google Doc. Okay, so um, those are some reviews on transformations. And then I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do a, um, a sample from the solving, okay? So this is number 15 on the review sheet. It says 9 to the x plus 3 equals 243 to the negative 2x minus one. Okay, so um, if you recall, we did this, uh, I think the 